Well, hello you guys. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I really wanted to do a vlog and I think I'm just going to make it like a couple days in my life vlog because, <clears throat> well, already off to a great start because I'm actually off work for like four days in a row, which is quite rare for me. And I feel like I just have stuff that I could update you on that doesn't have to do with books. We are going to talk about books, I'm sure, throughout this video a little bit. But for the most part, I kind of want to just bring you guys with me day to day, what I do through my business, whatever it may be. Um, and also, I want to give you guys an update on the house. So let's go do that. So first being the room we were just in, I did put in the office label that Nate got me for Christmas last year. But the office is looking mighty fine. I do have my ring light usually out at all times, so that's why it's there. Um, but then I just have my shelves. My beautiful bookshelves. I actually just got my Astrid Parker Doesn't Fail. So now I have both of them and they just look so beautiful together. But yeah, the, um, the bookshelf looks great still. And my desk is, is just chilling. And I do have these. I don't think I've actually shown this yet on camera, like officially. But I do have these prints that are gorgeous that I put up for different books that I love. And then my exercise bike is here. This painting is going in our entryway, but we need to find the stud, so we have to get a stud finder <laughs> in order to do that. And then on the ground here, I do have my yoga mat out at all times right now, just because I am trying to stretch every single day. But with all that being said, I actually have been really thinking about switching this room around already. I do love the way it looks, but sometimes with the window being directly at me while I'm on my computer, during like golden hour, it is a struggle doing work at the table. So I've been thinking about moving my desk behind me and then having my chair by the window. I don't know, let me know what you think. Bathroom still pretty much looks the same. So, you know, normal, normal stuff in here. And I still am obsessed with this mirror. So very happy with that. And then right now our entry way, we do have this fake plant and a little cat bed. I added in some tinsel because it is nearing Christmas and the living room is, you know, it's a little bit of a mess, but this is just like a general update. So we still have our couch facing this way. It is quite literally the only way it can go. We did try to flip it. So everything was facing the TV did not work. There's not enough space and we do have our tree up, but we haven't decorated it yet. So we are going to be putting it there. I think in the future, like next year, we are going to get like maybe an eight foot tree or something like that. But um, for now, this is great. Everything's good here. The cats love having the couch in the window right here. This, this window is literally huge and I am obsessed with it. We do have these shelves here as well as this art that I had in my previous place. I also have these shelves up, which I have shown on Instagram and stuff, but they are great. They fill the space nicely. And then heading into the kitchen, again, a little bit messy, but <laughs> we are a work in progress here. But we have our kitchen table right up against this wall. We do want to get some art here or something at some point. These flowers are in fact fake. I think I got the recommendation from Bianca Henderson on YouTube here. They are amazing. They literally look real and I love them. And then... Guys, I don't know if I did a full update on this, but we have painted the entire kitchen. All of the cabinets are now this beautiful green. I'm gonna go into the light so you can see. I don't know. I feel like that gives you a little bit better of an idea. It is such a gorgeous color. We have some decorations up here and everything here is pretty much the same, except for we do have a new fridge, which I think I showed in a vlog once, but freaking love this fridge. The only downside is you can see all of the like handprints. So like once a week, I just kind of go in and like spruce it up. But that being said, you may have noticed the ceilings. You can see that. I'm currently using this wallpaper stripper diff. I don't know. It's a concentrate that you mix with water to take off the wallpaper on our ceiling, which like who in the right mind adds wallpaper to a ceiling? Really, that's like, that should be the big question here. Um, I have no idea. But because of that, we can't really paint the ceiling in here until it comes off. So I'm starting in this corner over here. Um, you can see a color difference because Nick did actually start painting and then we realized that there was wallpaper. So I do have to unfortunately like take off his paint and wallpaper to fix that. But I figured well, this is a good time to do that because I'm not working for the next few days. So 
that is the plan take off the ceiling wallpaper during this vlog and i also want to make banana bread tonight so we're gonna do that but nick is currently working until like nine o'clock so i have the whole day here alone to myself and i'm gonna get some work done and keep you guys updated you guys definitely a few hours later this lighting is whack i'm gonna move over here and see if that helps it probably won't still not great um but i am well first of all it's almost eight o'clock now i literally talked to shelby on facetime for like four hours i don't even remember i don't know all time is lost at this point but um i did have a great day for that i oh sorry i just kicked my cat by accident um, I did work on the ceiling. Very, very little. It is hard to get off. So I need to come up with a different way of doing it. With that being said, I wanted to make that banana bread now. So let's do that. I have my trusty bowl here and I will bring you guys along for the ride. It is the next day now and it's like 4 30 or something like that um i am gonna put this as like a few days in my life so today all i've been doing is literally the kitchen ceiling it's taken forever and i'm only like halfway right now um but i did that and now i'm about to drop nick off at work and then go to the beach and read for a little so i figured i'd bring you because there's just nothing like some beachy aesthetic in my vlogs. I just love that I can do this at any point because I live like two minutes away. So that's the plan and I am going to be bringing November's book club pick to read. So that is The Plot by Jean Humph Corlitz. I'm like 35% of the way through and I'm very excited because the next chapter is actually pages three and four of the actual like plot that it's talking about in the book so very looking forward to that i'm gonna like bring a tea it's gonna be great sit in the car because it's like three degrees out it's pretty cold but it's still just so beautiful staring at the beach and like the water oh i love it but yeah that is what i'm gonna be doing for today's portion of the vlog and i will see you guys at the beach it's so dark at this point but it still looks absolutely gorgeous ah i love reading here it makes me so happy even if i can't see anything this is just the perfect view hello you guys i am on my way home from the beach and i just wanted to show you guys this view from this hill you can literally see the whole city and during the day too i mean you can kind of see now the orange is i'm pretty sure that's what it is but there's like a bunch of the shipping containers because i live on a coast and it is just it's so gorgeous especially during like sunset and during the day um this is what i can do right now but yes it is so beautiful morning you guys it is now sunday i am just gonna enjoy some coffee as you guys saw i also have been trying my very hardest to drink a glass of water every morning because you know what before i even pick up the coffee we're gonna have some water with that being said it is currently 9 45 in the morning but i am right now gonna edit 
which means that I have to turn you off so that I can get my, my SD card in the computer and actually get the clips that I need. But I'm gonna be editing my, I think it's the gifts for bookworms for the holidays, like that, that sort of theme. So I'm gonna edit that one so I can go out next week for you guys, or I guess this Friday coming up, so exactly a week from now kind of thing. But any clips from now until I'm done editing, I will get on my phone and I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. Hello you guys, before I show you the new bookmarks that I made for a new collection on my Etsy, I'm just going to talk about a few books that I've been reading and completed and my thoughts and all that stuff. So, first being Magnolia Parks by Jessa Hastings. Did I enjoy this book? Yes. Did I like it? Mm, I don't know about that. Very long. It is over 500 pages long. If you're not aware of what this is about, it is a whole series and there is three books right now. There's a fourth one coming out in December and then there's another one coming out sometime next year. But this is essentially Gossip Girl on Crack in London. Super toxic. It is about Magnolia Parks and BJ Ballantyne. It's their love story. But essentially they go through a lot of hardships. I don't want to spoil anything. They go through a lot of hardships but there is cheating. There's a lot of sex, there's a lot of toxicity in the relationship of stubbornness and not wanting to be the first one to admit their feelings. Very, very irritating. So I knew that going into this and I was prepared for that, but I still just did not, like I didn't like it that much. I enjoyed it because it was entertaining and kind of stupid. Um, I feel bad kind of saying that, but it really, like the book itself isn't stupid. The writing was fine, but the actual story and the characters and their just thoughts and reactions to things was a little bit stupid. Yeah, I'm not going to continue the series as much as I wish I wanted to because I think the covers are beautiful. I'm just not going to do it to myself. It was not worth it. So a 3 out of 5 star. Still not a terrible rating, but it's like on the cusp of like a 2.75 and a 3 for me. And I know that it, like I said, is a series, so it's supposed to carry on. And that made a cliffhanger happen in this book. And the cliffhanger just like wasn't very exciting to me so i said it i didn't really like this um to each their own though like i know a lot of people that i have a lot of respect for on booktube and, and bookstagram and book talk are in love with this series and it's just not for me and i am currently at 90 percent done lost in the plots book club read for november which is the plot by jean home corlitz and so far it's not meeting the expectation I had. Um, that being said, I'm still enjoying it. I, I'm definitely enjoying it a lot more than this, but it is, um, it's not as plot twisty as I thought it was gonna be, I guess. But sometimes books don't need that, and also I still have like 40 pages left, so there could be a final plot twist at the end. I don't know, but this book is essentially about a writer and a professor named Jake who has this student who has this plot idea and he thinks it is the bee's knees. Like, movie deals are going to pick up on it. It is the best book to ever have been written, according to the student. And at the time, Jake is like, okay, <laughs> you're a little optimistic here, whatever. But then the student tells him the entirety of the plot for the most part, aside from like little details. And he he starts to believe him and he's actually envious of the fact that, that his student wrote it and he didn't. A few years go by and he finds out that the student actually died before ever writing the book and he essentially takes the idea. He doesn't steal any of the writing, you know, the plagiarism part of it is a little rocky um, because he wrote the entire book, he just used someone else's plot and then he ends up getting an email saying you are a thief so someone knows that he stole this plot idea and he's already gained like so much fame from this book so that's kind of where it goes and now he's just trying to figure out who is freaking messaging him sending him letters threatening him telling him to stop and just like trying to get him to admit that he stole this idea so we're very close to the end and obviously i have an idea now of who it was i'm not going to spoil that but i'm just really excited to see how it ends because i think that's definitely going to determine whether this is a like a high maybe like 3.75 star read or it could be above a four star i don't know yet but regardless it is it is quite suspenseful very slow burn and i think that the 
concept of this book is immaculate and I'm excited to discuss it with everyone in the book club it's just not you know it's not a psychological thriller like it's just it's a mystery within a book with beautiful writing so yeah am I liking it yes much more than Magnolia Parks but it's not like my all-time new favorite book so very excited to finish that one I will most likely finish that today maybe I'll even have that in at some point in this clip I don't know but let's move on to talking about my new bookmarks okay so for this bookmark collection it is called the reading tracker bookmark collection it just released yesterday on November 22nd and I am so excited unfortunately by the time you see this video my Black Friday sale is gonna be done but I do have sales all the time so definitely look out for those just take a look at my shop honestly follow me on Instagram if you want to know all of the different sales because I post those prior to them happening and then you know I honestly I feel like every month have at least like a couple days where I do like 15% off my shop but now I'm gonna show it to you guys I'm really excited about it I already have like three or four orders I have to get done so that's something I'm doing today actually but I'll start by showing you the different colors of the bookshelf one so for this collection you get two in one package so it's basically going to be one bookshelf reading tracker and one library card reading tracker the bookshelf can cover 50 books and the library card can cover 12 i believe so total of 62 books which is pretty good considering i feel like a lot of people you know maybe they read that many a year but a lot of people don't so there's lots of space on these for people and i'll start by showing the colors of the bookshelf one so these are the bookshelves i did design these all myself and i'm literally so proud of them but we have a like mustardy yellow a nice blue a like sage green a brown and like this peachier red so those are the colors that i went with and i'm just gonna grab this one to show as an example you can see there's like little string lights all on them we have a little coffee cup some mushroom candles a plant this here is the friends frame so i did find a clip art for that that is the one thing on here that i did not make myself and then i did do the cat and the candle and everything so all of this is you know like 99 percent hand drawn and i'm very proud of it and like i said there are five different colors so that is the one you get when you purchase the pack and then the other kind i actually only have two of these right now but these are the library cards so it says borrower's name is responsible for all books borrowed on this card and then they all come in like the different five colors here so if you wanted the brown bookshelf one you would still get the brown library card and so you get both of these for eight dollars and honestly i'm i love them so much i'm excited to start using them myself but like i said i do have some orders that i need to do and then give you my overall thoughts on the plot at the end of this video <sighs> okay what is going on with the lighting here okay it just took me a million years to figure out how to record this clip because the sun is like slowly but surely setting and at my desk it is just the worst the worst time to film which is why i think i said at the very beginning of this video that i might change my office because the sun while it's beautiful is just very annoying at the computer <laughs> but um, i'm gonna end off this video by talking about the plot by jean home Corlitz. i did finish it last night and I am rating it a 3.75 out of 5. Here, here's why. It was still such a good book. The concept, amazing. I, I don't think I've ever read anything like this. And I did think that the concept of the plot in the book was really intense, honestly. It is a true crime, if I've ever heard of one. But I did unfortunately predict the ending. And it is a really cool idea for an ending. I like the plot twist, but because I predicted it, it just wasn't, it just didn't hit, you know what I mean? So I really did enjoy it. <laughs> the writing from Corlett's is honestly amazing. I don't know, like it's comparable to, dare I say, Stephen King. Like it's really good, but 
it just did not live up to my expectation because when I read the synopsis and I heard about it originally, I was like, that sounds so cool. I just think that the plot in the book, like the plot that this book is about, that makes sense, uh, could have been much cooler. I don't know. It just wasn't, it didn't really live up to the hype for me. 3.75 is really close to a 4 and like it is still really good. It just did not hit 4 out of 5 for me. I don't really have reasonings for my ratings aside from just that gut feeling and this just gave me a gut feeling of 3.75 so that's that's why I rated it that. But with that being said, I just wanted to end off this video and say thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to go check out my Etsy. I have a ton of new items on there and old ones and I would really appreciate all of the support when you shop small. It is honestly life-changing for me. But yeah, with that being said, be sure to subscribe, like, hit the notification bell if you want to be a part of our family. I post every single Friday. With that being said, Avery and I say bye.